Their task will be to search and discover our core secrets in the iron chest never recovered. Their journey will be daunting and the odds will not be in their favor. Okay, so the first episode of Gouda Ultimate Search Season 12 just ended and it's a mixed feeling for me guys. Um, I'm kind of disappointed and I'm kind of excited and satisfied. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not disappointed because it wasn't worth the watch. As a matter of fact, I enjoyed every bit of every scene that I saw on my TV screen tonight. Um, my disappointment comes from the fact that the show did not last up to one full hour. It finished precisely 8.47 p.m. And that got me really upset. But don't worry, guys. I'm going to tell you all about my excitement for the show, all my um, optimism with this season of Gouda Ultimate Search. Just please watch to the end of this video, all right? And um, let's start. By the way, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah, and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the tea. And this video is all about the premiere of the Gouda Ultimate Search Season 12, The Age of Craftsmanship. Now, guys, and um, before I continue this video, let me remind you all to please turn on post notifications, all right? What you see on the screen right now, just do exactly that. That is the easiest and fastest ways for you to receive a lot of my videos whenever I upload a new one. If you're a lover of this show, Good Ultimate Search, guys, this is the space to get the most factual, detailed, and accurate analysis of the show. So if you don't want to miss out, just do exactly what you see on my screen right now, okay? The first things first, this video would not be complete if I do not give some worthy accolades to the organizers of the show. Guys, if there's one thing I always love about Gouda Ultimate Search, it is their art of storytelling. And because of his mastery, his fame soon spread across the town and beyond. However, his legend truly began after he grew the first indigenous brew of that era. That storytelling technique with which they introduce every season of the show. Guys, that is the catch for me. And that is what makes the show stand out and makes it different from every other reality TV show or TV show in Nigeria. Guys, the beauty about Gouda Ultimate Search is for every season, the, the contestants are required to search for something, something local. And with that thing, with that item, comes with a storyline, comes with a history, comes with a background. And so guys, that was one of the highlights for me for um, the premiere of the show tonight. The fact that the show started without wasting any time, without dabbling or dilly-dallying or beating around the bush. The show started with a beautiful story of Akuna, a local man that started off creating a delicious brew that attracted enemies from within and without. And as a result, he had to run away from his hometown. The people who were trying to kill Akuna were actually trying to lay their hands on his secret ingredients to, you know, creating that special brew. But he escaped with that. Now, the beauty about that narration, yeah, at the beginning of tonight's show was that that sort of created an introduction into um, the reason why this season of the show is themed the age of craftsmanship. Now, what that means is that the contestants of the show for this season, every single task, every single thing that they will be doing for this season will be leading them towards the direction of searching for um, Akuna's chest, you know, that contains the secret ingredients to his brew. I mean, guys, for real, if you ask me, that was a really, really captivating way to introduce a show. Besides that, the next thing we saw was how the 18 contestants were introduced to the jungle. Now, they were not introduced to the jungle in a very in a very usual way. It was a very, very unusual way. I completely love the fact that the organizers were smart enough to infuse, you know, um, a collaboration with the locals in that state. I love the fact that they were able to um, sent the housemate into 
a kind of a wild goose chase right they were trying to pick up clues here and there from different shop attendants from different locals you know to direct them towards the direction of the jungle and guys it was beautiful to see that right from the the, the contestants highlighting from their boss they were already divided into three groups now they were instructed to pick up a lantern each guys and there were three different colors of lanterns there was the green there was the yellow and there was the red lanterns now it was those colors of the lanterns that would determine the group in which each contestant will function in guys i do not know for now if it is to the duration of the show or not but then they were also given a compass each and that was actually what kind of directed them to the jungle over time since the announcement of the show we've actually seen you know some snippets clips bits and pieces here and there on social media of the auditions of the show but guys we have not really really seen the full details of how the audition went so tonight on this first episode of gouda ultimate search season 12 we were able to see um, how the audition process started off from Abuja, you know, then proceeded off to Enugu, and then we also saw how it also happened in Lagos State. Guys, to be very honest with you, I actually did a video before talking about um, how much physical strength one would need to participate on a show like Gouda Ultimate Search. Guys, I saw it for myself first, and I saw how muscled men were struggling to do squats, to do, um, what do they call it? It exercises or just you know major physical workouts guys it was intense it was crazy I saw grown men crying buckling under their feet falling down to the ground I saw people almost drowning in pools of water during the different stages of the auditions guys they were tested in physical strength on all levels you know in running um in just doing different exercise routines basically what you see in the gym <laughs> when you go for your workout sessions guys it was really intense and i was asking myself gloria elijah will you be able to do any of these things guys it was not easy and i want to give kudos to the ladies who were brave enough to come out and participate in the auditions process guys no be beans it was not easy at all guys it was really really intense so all the ladies that participated in the audition process you guys are the real mvps come on i mean i was scared like what and it was quite interesting because we were able to see clearly with clarity the auditions process i mean at every point in time at different stage of the auditions once a potential contestant is not able to scale through then automatically they are disqualified so it was a very very transparent process you could see how people were moving from different levels of the auditions to the other everything was very very open then after the final 38 were selected from the auditions process they proceeded to taking them to cisco at cisco the top 38 were tested in leadership they were tested in their thinking and guys they had more rigorous testings on their physical strength and it wasn't really easy at all to be very frank with you all it wasn't very easy but afterwards we also um listened to some of the top 18 contestants share with us one-on-one -on -one their passions what motivated them to audition for the show and um what they what their expectations are basically now guys we did not get to hear everything yeah we did not get to hear everything but i am hoping that um, by tomorrow we should hear um the testimonials from all the 18 contestants now another very interesting fact about the contestants is that initially they were 16 yeah and so two were voted back in by the audience to make them a total number of 18 i'll be doing another video to talk more about this but basically guys my verdict on tonight's premiere of the season 12 of gouda ultimate search is it started off with a bang and guys i have a lot of high expectations for the show this season i am hoping that they will not fall my hand i am hoping that there's going to be a lot of twists and turns that's going to make us the viewers glued to our tv screens and expecting more from them already i am loving the personality of kunle remy the task master he has this vibe and this air of one who is in charge who is in control he knows what he is doing i love the confidence in his voice i love the confidence
confidence in his attitude on set and guys be very honest i have high expectations for this show and i am looking forward to it let me know what you think in the comment section below if you also watched this first episode of Buddha ultimate search season 12 and i'll see you guys on another episode of frankly speaking with glory elijah don't go anywhere i'll see you guys on another episode of frankly speaking with glory elijah have an amazing night bye <laughs>